What's up, it's David with Always Be Coding and today I'm gonna to go through some questions that I found on Reddit. So this is gonna be a pretty quick post. Uh, I just wanted to go through some questions that I found uh, on Reddit. They're mostly oriented towards beginners, but uh, hopefully you'll find them useful. So let's do it. So the first question is, have you ever thought about leaving programming and completely changing fields? Do you have any story from someone you know that did it? So first of all, I mean, I would say, why would you leave this field? Programming, coding, building is amazing. It's pure joy. Uh, yeah, it's hard sometimes, but it's a world of abundance, right? There are no materials, really. You just, you can build something from nothing. Having said that, I think it's important, though, to have other hobbies or interests. I think that innovation certainly happens at the intersection of ideas, right? Uh, if you have an idea about you love music and you can build and write code, maybe you build a music app. One thing that I did when I was learning piano was I built a small app that connected over MIDI and would show like a chord or a note. And when I played that on the, on, the, on the piano, it would register and then show me another note. And it was like a way to very quickly learn. And I could take that and perhaps package it up in a certain way and sell it as a simple utility. You never know, but the idea is that um, this is a separate interest. And while I might want to go be a professional piano player, professional piano player, um, I think that programming is definitely the thing that's gonna uh, make me happy over over time. So, all right. Uh, advice about picking first one or two languages to learn. Uh, let's see, I'm just skimming over this real quick. In six, seven months, I'd like to do my best to learn lo at least one language and also in that time start with another one. I was thinking of looking for a job as a newbie junior here so they can help me with direction a bit and I can master languages. What also should I learn besides, I mean, besides programming language one and two, I don't know what that means, but basically I think the question is uh, advice for picking the first uh, one or two languages. I would say when you're picking your first language or if you wanna learn something or you really, you might know some things and you really wanna you know, go deep on a language, I would say, figure out what your vision is. Like, what do you wanna build? Let's say you know that language, right? What, um, what would you do with it? Uh, so let's say you wanna build a web app. You have an idea for a new web app, and so maybe it makes sense to learn React and maybe some backend technologies or some basic stuff along those lines. L let's say you wanna do some stuff with machine learning. Uh, you might learn Python or, you know, it's, it's all based on the language. Maybe you wanna build a mobile app uh, and so you learn iOS or Swift. Uh, for me, I, for me, I started uh, programming, I wanted to make video games. And so I started with C and then I quickly moved to C++ when I started making games professionally. Um, and then of course, when I joined Google and started doing internet uh, based technologies and, and applications, um, then I was doing more Java. So, you know, it's really about the application. Uh, so think about that first before you pick a language. So how do you stay sharp in one language framework stack when learning other stuff? So I, th I think the general question here is like, you're gonna learn a lot and you're gonna have to focus at any one time. So how do you stay sharp with the things you already know? Well, I think the thing is true. It is a lot of things that you do learn are like riding a bike, right? But you're not gonna stay extremely sharp. You're gonna have to get back into things. So if I went back to C or C++ right now, there would be a, a you know, a ramp up time, but that ramp up time would be very short, much, much, much shorter, given that, you know, I have experience with it, it's it's in my memory, but also the things I've learned since then help me go faster. And there are even times when I'm like, not using Git or not using something, and I go back and I'm like, what, what the hell am I doing? How does this even work? And it just takes a minute for, for it to come back. And it will, and it does, right? A good example of this is regex, right? Like who, you know, I know the basics of regex, but there are certain things, once you go beyond some of the basics, like we're all Googling these things. It's, it's very common. And so I would say like, don't worry too much about it. Yeah, it's good to go back sometimes and maybe dabble in some languages, but once you learn it and you have the experience of building something, it's gonna stick with you forever. Oh, this is interesting. Can you learn to love programming? Uh, can you learn to love programming? How can you not love programming? And obviously that's not what most people are gonna think. But again, I go back to the ability to bring something into existence, right? Like a painting or a book or what have you, but yet something that people can interact with. And there's always something new to learn. And the, the industry is progressing so quickly and it's so interesting. I couldn't imagine not doing it. 
having said that, I think in order to love programming, you need a you need a reason to love it. Like maybe you want to build something, or maybe um, you know you are you're tinkering with things at home. The point is, as long as you stay focused on what it is you want to achieve, what your goals are, uh, programming is just a means to an end. Uh, and I think that that's what helps you learn to love it. Uh, yeah, of course. I think um, once you build something, you bring something into the world, uh, you you learn that you can love it. So that's that'd be my my answer there. All right. So uh, that's it. I just wanted to go through a few of these and see see how it goes. Um, hope you found it useful or enjoyable. Uh, I'm going to try and do some more of these, maybe some more in-depth questions, maybe go over some memes, what have you. Um, anyway, this is David and ABC Always Be Coding.